What's up, Survival? It's Jason here. Today I'm going to show you my knife collection. And if you're wondering, I got this idea from Super Fat Guy 859 And one of his videos, maybe a month, month and a half ago, he done a video of knives that he'll never sell. And I said, hey, I might as well do one. But since my shortage of knives, of how much I have, which is a little, I decided to just show a little of them, so to show the progression of knives over the years. Start with the first one I ever got, and end with the, my current one that I have. And also, if you're curious, you could check out Flint and Steel Survival. He, he did another one, a, a uh, actually five-part series of uh, his knives and blades and stuff like that. And that's a lot. So. Uh, Get to it to my first knife. As you can tell, just one of those uh, simple pocket knives. I think I got this when I was probably nine or ten, and it's been with me for all that time. I use it in my Altoid Survival Kit, and uh, use it to strike some flint, and that's what I mainly use it for. But there are, is a uh, Phillips and a little file and nail picker, stuff like that. It's just been a great little blade that I have with me. It's so small that it fits in Alto's kit professionally. Next, I don't exactly remember when I got this, but I remember it was uh, during Christmas. It was in my stocking, stuff like that. And I just, when I saw it, I just loved it. Especially that blade right there. I just really liked it. I really love the shape of that. And also, there are two, three blades on this. So there's that one. I use that to strike the magnesium flint bar. And there's a, I think this one's a sheep's foot. I don't know exactly. But it's still a really great knife. And I really like this one. Especially the wood on there on the handle it was just great next I'm gonna show you a multi-tool for the heck of it it's by Gerber and the uh, sheath is like all frame it's, it's been with me a while and here's the multi-tool just uh, simple pliers it has a couple good tools on it I don't know what that's called, but if you know, put it in the description. And then here's the actual blade on it, which is really cool. It's about half serrated. It's plenty sharp, and the, the thumbnail pull is really great. And there's barely any play. It locks up really good. Stuff like that. It's been great over the years. And I usually use this when going out shooting. The next knife is the first knife I ever bought. And yes, it is a Bear Grylls knife. It's a Bear Grylls Gerber Scout knife. And it's been well used. Pretty dull. I need a sharpener. I don't know how to sharpen as good. But I have added paracord lanyard on it. This is pretty great with the lanyard because it gives you much more length if you need to chop or anything like that. This gives you that extra length and leverage. And that that was pretty cool. You can see all the wear right there. You can tell that I use this full through. Now let's see what's the next knife. I think I have this one. I got this one from one of my grandpas. I think it's a Victorinox Swiss Army knife. Plenty of tools. Pretty fat right there. This is currently in my um, large pocket swallow kit. And as you see, pretty great blade. Pretty sharp. I don't know what that red is. Maybe it was like a paint or something. I really like the saw on there. Really great. The only thing about this was uh, 
the scissors, the little spring right here, it broke. I don't know how the heck, maybe it was just a little rusted, or I don't know. But now nah, I, I just have to do that manually. And plus the tweezers and the toothpick are missing when I got it. Next, got a little uh, TL29 electrician's knife. You can see right there. It looks pretty good. This was actually at the bottom of one of my uh, first videos, that little uh, belt kit or whatever it was. And then what on it was in this. I got this from one of my grandpas and I just had it forever. I don't exactly remember when I got it, but I know I got it from one of my grandpas. It's been great. And it's by, I don't know if you can see that, like Camillus and made in New York. Let's see what there. Next on here, on this thing, really cool. It's actually a flathead. And that little groove right there is actually two. Uh, so if you actually grab this right here so it doesn't disturb that piece right there. So you can actually grab it. It looks like it has a blade as well right here. It's not as sharp as this one, but it's still plenty sharp to cut something. I thought it was pretty cool. There is a little divot or chunk missing right there, as you can tell. But I don't know if I should clean it or not. I like the look of the dirtiness of it, but I was thinking about keeping it that way and the really cool thing about this I haven't even seen this before but little liner lock on this uh, Flint Steel Survival sent on his video he has something like this and then it's not the exact one but it's something like it but it this is pretty good I just found out what it was it's an electrician's knife and I'm already liking it okay this one's pretty, pretty cool, like, really cool. It's not really function as a real knife, but, look at that. Leather sheath, got a arrowhead right here, little tassels, little pieces of leather coming out, and this, right here, the handle, is a black bear jaw. A real black hair jaw, and it actually fits in hand pretty good. And I think this one's bone as well. I don't know if it's the same from the same animal, black bear or not, but it it's pretty cool blade. It's a, actually a letter opener, but I wish it was actually sharp. That'd be one B A knife, and I just keep it right at my bedside. And I use it every time I get a letter. Next is just one of these cheap two dollar knives. I just thought about getting it just because like uh, I can just put it into a little kit. I haven't found a place well actually I did, but for some reason I just took it out. But it's pretty good of a knife. I mean like it's three quarters serrated. It is a two uh dollar knife. So it's not the best, but Still gets the job done. Okay, what's next? I think it's this blade. I got this during a recent Christmas, and I have modified it. As you can tell right here, I just put a ranger band just for the heck of it. And right here, the retention on this knife wasn't as good, um, so I put a ranger band around here. So it kind of pushes a bit more against the edge. And now, you actually have to throw it, I mean like, like that to actually get it out. But the retention's better on this now with that ranger band. So if you have any problems with the more companion, that's what, this is what that is, is uh, just put a ranger band right there can put it anywhere right here, but that's a great way to keep your attention better. Next one, I got this on, it was actually on my 
birthday, after the Christmas, after that one. I don't exactly remember which one. But I'm not going to dig it out in there because it's too compact. It's actually the Doug Ritter uh, MK5 knife. And we all know what that looks like. So I'm not going to dig it out. The next knife is actually a one from Fat Man's giveaway. Fat Man. It's a Recon 1 by Cold Steel. It's been great so far. No complaints. Really great handle. I really like the paracord, stuff like that. And I've been using it a while. There's already a couple, I don't know, scrapes. I don't know if you call it scrape, but there's stuff on it. You can tell that I've used it. Plenty of use out of this one. Next, another little multi tool is the Gerber Dime. It's right there. I really like this one. So far, I've used the pliers and the scissors, which is right here. These scissors are pretty good, like especially if you're cutting up boxes. Uh, I'm getting the box tops out of it, stuff like that. Cutting little pieces of string off, stuff like that. That's the most I've used out of that so far. I just bought that recently. And the current knife that I've gotten was gifted by me, or gifted to me by Everyday Knife Guy. And it's a spider coat tenacious. Still practicing. Getting all the fingers, you know. Can't get someone as much anymore. But it's a been a great night so far. All that stuff. I really like the 90 degree spine. Really works with a ferro rod, striking it, stuff like that. It's been great so far. I'll put a link to everyone's uh, channel in the description below. And uh, already learning more stuff. The spotty drop, stuff like that. And sometimes I just can't stop doing that, but I put my finger in the way for some reason. Just need to learn to keep it out of the way. But sooner or later, I'll get better at it. So, uh, that's all my knives. Wish I had more, but still in the progress of doing all that. So, uh, Check out everybody's channel that I've mentioned. I'll put them in the description below. And uh, I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next one.